This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I snap an insert mesh brush object to a camera axis? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have a polysphere here loaded in. And I've gone through and used the clip brush to flatten out some surfaces here. And I've also deleted the lower subdivision. So the question is asking about using IMM brushes, and instead of having these snap to the surface of the model, having them snap to a camera axis. So to start off, I'm just going to come over here to the brush palette, and I'm just going to select an insert mesh brush. So I'm going to select this IMM model kit brush. Now with this brush selected, I'm just going to press M on my keyboard to open up that multi-mesh insert window, and I'm going to select the panel 10 insert mesh. Now with this selected, if you come across your model and drag out, you're going to see that it's just going to look at the surface normal that you click on, and it's going to drag out the insert mesh object like so. So as I drew this out across this curved area here, you can see all these insert mesh objects are facing in the direction of that surface normal. So if I click on this one here, it's going to draw it out like so, and if I click this one here, it's going to draw out like that. Now let's say instead of drawing this out so it's snapping to the surface here, I want this insert mesh object to snap to a camera plane. So how can I go by doing that? So inside a ZBrush, when you draw out a insert mesh object, you may notice that if you switch to a transpose mode, you're going to get a transpose line created exactly where you drew that insert mesh object out. So the transpose line directly correlates to how an insert mesh object is going to be drawn out. So if I take the transpose line and I click on this surface here, and now I go back to that insert mesh brush and I start dragging this out and I hold down shift, it's going to use the axes related to that last transpose line. So let's go back to move mode and I'm now going to draw a transpose line out here. And you can see this is the axis plane I'm looking at here. I go to that draw, I draw the insert mesh object out, hold down shift, it's going to snap exactly to that last transpose line position. So what this means is that if I want to come through and draw out an insert mesh on this surface here, but I want it to align to this camera, I just need to first establish a transpose line that has its axis plane aligned with the camera. So I'm going to go select the move transpose line again, and I'm just going to click on my model and start dragging it out. Now if you just click, it's going to just look at that surface normal and it's going to give you axes that look like this. But if you click and drag, at a certain point, you're going to see that the transpose line is going to snap to the world angle, so snapping to a camera axis. So you can see now I have this transpose line, and it's going in these vertical and horizontal directions relating to my camera angles. So with the transpose line established like so, if I go back to that insert mesh object, start dragging that insert mesh out, and hold down shift, it's going to snap that insert mesh object directly to that axis. So you can see here, now this insert mesh object is going perfectly flat to the camera plane. Another handy feature is when you draw an insert mesh object out, it's going to generate a new transpose line position. So since I drew this one out perfectly flat, if I switch back to move transpose, you're going to see that this is already positioned exactly on that insert mesh object. And now I can perform options like move to reposition that after I've drawn it out. So the process again is first just draw out a transpose line and how you want the insert mesh object to be positioned. So if you want it to be positioned by a camera axis, just drag it out until it snaps to that world or camera axis like so. Then grab your insert mesh object, go to the surface you want it to be applied to. So say this surface here, start dragging it out and hold down shift and it's going to snap perfectly to that angle. So we can do it again. I'm going to go from this side here, start drawing out a transpose line so it's perfectly aligned. Go to this surface, start drawing out, hold down shift, and it's going to snap it to that camera axis. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!